Well, what we're going to do is we are going to look at one line of evidence. It turns out that these two balloons will balance perfectly if the mass, because mass is a property of matter, so if something has mass, it is matter. Well, we can find out if air is matter because the balloons have air in them. And we're going to see if the air has mass. So a teeter-totter or a balance works if you have equal mass on both sides at the same distance apart, it is balanced. So right now I have equal mass on your left, yellow balloon, and equal mass on the right, right, the red, uh, blue balloon, sorry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to temporarily just hold my finger here so I don't accidentally cause anything to change while I pop one of the balloons and then we will see if it tilts to one side or another. If it tilts down this way, that would mean this one has more mass than this one. If it tilts this way, that means this one would have more mass. And right now, they're equal. So let's get rid of the air out of the smiley, happy yellow balloon and see what happens. I'm gonna hold my finger here just initially so I don't do anything when I pop the balloon. Struggle is real, struggle is real, struggle is real. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Make sure they're still there. Make sure they're still there. Wait for it. Wait for it. Get everything balanced. Went a little too far, a little too far. Get everything balanced again. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pop the yellow balloon if I can. Maybe I need to stand here behind it. Okay, now I'm gonna let go. Aha! You see what happens there? Fell to the blue side. Write down your observations in your evidence. probably has air in it. I can't see it, but I'm gonna, I guess it does. It's open. So I'm gonna put some dry Kleenex in there. Some Kleenex. <laughs> okay, maybe not that one. All right, here's some Kleenex. It's dry. I'm gonna put that in the beaker. Shove it down inside there. Okay. Dry Kleenex. Now, I think the second thing we said about air is that it takes up space or has volume. So how can I find out if this is taking up space? Well, why don't we turn this upside down in the water and submerge it all the way underneath? And then we can see if the Kleenex gets wet. If it gets wet, maybe the air doesn't take up any space. If it stays dry, Maybe the air is stopping the water from getting it. Well, let's try. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna submerge all the way down. I'm all the way down, all the way, all the way, all the way. Fact, might be really hard to see from your perspective, but there's only water going up to about right here. All of this right here doesn't look like there's any water in it. Wow, let's see if that's true. Let's take this out. I gotta dry my hands off somewhere. There we go. Okay, make sure my hands are dry so I don't get the Kleenex. And pull the Kleenex out. And guess what? Perfectly dry, perfectly dry. The only way that would be possible is if this is taking up space, the stuff that's in the beaker. And remember, what's in the beaker? Air. So you're gonna write that down for your evidence, not explaining what's going on so much, other just your observation. So when the beaker's turned upside down in the water, the water only fills up a little tiny space, and 